Hey everyone, in this problem, um, we are given us an arrangement consisting of one lens and two mirrors. So the radii of curvatures of these mirrors are given. So this is 20 centimeter and this would be 24 centimeter. And so there is a source that is placed in between lens L and mirror M2. And it's given that the final image after all reflections and refractions is formed at S itself. So in that condition, we are required to find the distance between the lens L and M1. So that is the unknown or the variable in this problem. So let's start one by one. So the first most obvious thing is that let's consider the reflection through mirror M2. So by using mirror formula, we know the object distance is half of 20, that is 10 centimeters. So Substituting that into the mirror formula, we know the radius of uh, curvature of mirror M2 is 24 centimeter. And we know the focal length of the mirror is just half of it, provided the rays are per action. So in this case, it is. So we'll say the focal length is 12 centimeter. So substituting that into the mirror formula, we'll get the image distance as 60 centimeters. So the image, the virtual image in this case is formed 60 centimeters behind mirror M2. <coughs> now this image would act as, so the rays would be something like this. Okay, so this image I1 would now act as the virtual object for lens L. So this distance is 60 centimeters, this distance is 20 centimeters. So the distance of I1 from lens L is 80 centimeters. Now substituting that in the lens formula, we'll get the image distance as 80 by 7 centimeters. So let's forget about M1 for a moment. After refraction from the lens L, the final image is formed at a distance, let's say it's I2, it's formed at a distance of 80 by 7 centimeters from the lens. Now these things are clearly known. Now what we don't know about is where this M1 should be placed so that the final image is also formed at S. So there are a few cases in which that would happen. So let's start with the easiest one. So in this case, let's say, so there is, this is one potential case. So after reflection from the lens, the image is formed at the pole of mirror M1. Now when that happens, after reflection, the path would be retraced the original path of the ray would be retraced and the final image would be formed where the source was. So this is clearly one potential answer where the image I2 is formed at the pole of mirror M1. Now, so which would mean, now we know the image distance, right? Of I2 from the lens L, that would be 80, that was 80 by seven as we figured out. So one potential answer for LMN, LM1, would be 80 by 7 centimeters. Okay, so now for the second case, let's say the ray after refraction converges to the focus of mirror M1. Now, now what in that case, after reflection, this ray would become parallel to the principal axis, right? And this parallel ray, once it gets refracted from the lens L, will converge to the focus of lens L, which is in fact S by the way. So, I, okay, I should have discussed that earlier. So, the focal length of lens L is 10 centimeters, right? So, and that is where the source S is placed as well. So, so in this case, yeah, after the reflection from the mirror, it becomes parallel and the parallel ray, once it gets refracted, it converges to the focus of the lens, which is S itself, which is S itself. So this is another potential solution. In this case, the image I2 is formed at the focus of mirror M1. So if I had to draw the ray, it would be something like So once it gets refracted, the final image is formed at the source itself. So this is another potential solution. So now we know the image distance is at, a, at 80 by 7 centimeter from 
the lens L. And it's given that the radii of curvature of M1 is 20 centimeter, which means the focal distance would be just half of it, 10 centimeters. So we can easily find the focal distance to be 10 centimeter. So in this particular case, the distance LM1 would be 10 plus 80 by 7. That would be 150 divided by 7 centimeters. So this is another potential answer for this question. Now for the next case, let's say after refraction, the image I2 is formed at C, which is the center of curvature of mirror M1. And we know once, it's, once it gets ref, reflected from mirror M1, the, the ray retraces its original path and it will be formed and it will just retrace its original path to where the object was. So this is solution number three, where the image I2 is formed at the center of curvature of mirror M1. So if I had to draw the ray in this case, it would be something like this. And the path is retraced. So this is case three. So we know this distance to be 80 by seven centimeter image distance for I2. And we know the distance between the pole and C is just R, which is equal to 20 centimeter in this case. So the final answer for LM1 would be 20 plus 80 by seven, which is 220 by seven centimeter. Now they said the distance LM1 is N by seven. So what are the potential values of N? And so there are three potential values, 80, 150, and 220. So that was the solution for this question. Thanks for watching guys.